there's a Luna and Venus. Guys, you know what? Venus has been really a part of everything this year. She's been spectacular in that sky, helping us to ground love with her light. And La Luna, like, look, they're having a little chat right now. I love this. This is what mornings are all about. This is what it's all about. You know, we spend time with the sun. Yes, we enjoy that. And we spend time with the moon and we enjoy this. This is balance. This is light. This is the blessings. Look at this light within the sky. Hey guys, welcome. Now, last time we met, we met up with the devil. And you know what? It was a tough reading and we discussed how there comes a point in our spiritual expansion where we're called to do what we're called to do. And we purify our body in order to purify our mind and allow spirit to expand with our soul. Now, I get what it's like, you know, I will, <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. And I get what it's like, you know, there are hard days where we just wanna have, you know, a drink after work, where we just wanna smoke some weed to calm our nerves. Or, you know, we just wanna take that pill because we just wanna relax. But, you know, from what I've seen and what I've been shown at New Earth, we don't need to do a lot of these things because we're at a different space. We're not feeling like that. This does not mean that we're not shifting. And you know what? Like, I'm not here to be big brother or, you know, mommy. If you want to have a drink, have a drink. But there, you know, we're faced with times in our life where we purify our body. We purify our mind. It's just detoxification, you know? You see people that are like, you know, I'm gonna go on a three week cleanse. So we do that for ourselves. We're there for ourselves. It doesn't mean we can't have balance. It doesn't mean that we can't enjoy, but we really need to start understanding that we're removing a lot of the templates and why we feel like we need to cope to begin with. We're healing from that. Now, I've, you know, I, I want to keep this lighthearted. I feel like we've done a lot of really deep stuff. Now, in saying that, I have some very sacred oils. These oils are chakra retrieval balancing oils. And guys, they are put within a copper pot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And okay, I'm just going to read this, okay? Embrace the unconditional love of the sacred feminine. These seven bottles of perfectly blended oils are infused with the vibration of the plant and mineral kingdoms, a gift from Mother Earth. They are then blessed under the light of the full moon in a copper pyramid while empowered with the color therapy and gemstones. Enjoy them while you work with them from the full moon goddess. And I love them and you know what I only put them within my diffuser when I feel it's a special occasion and I really feel like it's a special occasion you know guys we've done a lot of healing around here and thank you guys for joining me to do so now you know what we're gonna see where we're shifting to we're going to start here with the quantum Oracle and I really feel like we're making a shift now. We've done a lot of healing. We're going to shift. Where are we going? And it's not about being perfect, guys. You know, so many times when we just set out for perfection, we realize that that's artificial. Natural is imperfection. We rock our uniqueness. That's what makes us us. Friends and colleagues. Optimism. 
So look, you know what? We've raised the vibration and there's one more card here that wants to come. We've moved from our consciousness of lack. This is healing from the ego games. Look at the hole in the heart and it's all full of money. This is our lack. We're moving away from what's material. We're moving away from what's artificial and we're understanding that it's what's real that lights us up, that fills our heart. And it has to do with our friends and colleagues and we're feeling optimistic. We're feeling open to receive. We're opening back up after a time of being closed off. And you know what? There is a message for us in friends and colleagues. Yes, there is. That's how you know. Okay. Camaraderie. I like that word. It's very unique. A group of people are gathered around a table laughing and enjoying each other's company. Receiving this card indicates a time of camaraderie. And now I can't say it. And closeness with others. You may be widening your social group or getting more intimate with someone with whom you resonate greatly. And for all those that are of you that are doing that, enjoy. Enjoy, guys. We deserve it, right? And you know what? It's not within it's with the humble charge we are allowed to enjoy the fruits of our labor in a healthy way there could also be new connections with people in your work or business environment a colleague could become a friend a new association may be, may be willing and ready to give you support on an important project or even help you move forward in your career these are important energies so if you're accustomed to isolating yourself. No, we're not. We're getting out of the four of cups, five of cups energy. Get out of your own way. Whether it's in your personal or work life, let yourself forge genuine new connections and fortify old ones now. Now, this could also be indicating a celebration and enjoying the fun times. You know, I was discussing, I was very, you know, thankful for my three of pentacle pals, soul tribe members, and learning to trust we're learning to trust others because we're learning to trust self. And no, it, it means we recognize, you know what, the people we're learning to trust have paths. They're not perfect. They are expanding as well and they have wounds and they're healing. But we're learning to trust them because they're not out to hurt us. We're on the same page. We're joining up on our paths and we want the same thing. We want to see the world change for the better. We want to see... Our hearts matter. We want to create happiness. We want to create new earth. And, you know, it's been a blessing to be able to have people within my path that I'm learning how to trust as I learn to trust myself. And as I learn to trust myself, that's what's being reflected back to me. But of course, you know, everything we take with a grain of salt, right? And we know that, you know, we're still steering our ship. It's not like, you know... We're trusting people and then they're going to come in within us and then they're going to start steering our ship. No, we're trusting to connect with these people. We're trusting that, you know, these people are not going to harm us, that they love us, that there's some sort of, you know, healthy connection. And we you know what, guys, we're allowed to restore healthy connection. That's, that's allowed. And a lot of us are just doing it within our universes, with self, with the child. With the masculine, with the feminine, with the divine, with Mother Earth, with the birds, the sky. We have relationships with many. We're multidimensional, but it's through self. Okay? All right. I want to see what's being offered to ground. This is the Earth Wisdom Oracle. And I've been called to have it here because we're going to see what, what are, what's being offered to ground right now. You know, Venus has been hanging out still. I have never seen, you know, Venus in the sky for such a spectacular year as this one. I know it's been rough, but you know what? As far as what's happening in the sky, like, come on, this month alone, we have seven planets in retrograde. That's a lot, you know, like 
there's a lot within astrology going on from you know the planets in alignment for grand revolutional change and kingdoms falling old earth being able to crumble to build the new the you know and learning just that the macrocosm affects the microcosm microcosm affects the macrocosm we're connected we're interconnected okay what what is being offered to ground here Oh, and you know what? They showed me that the wheel is being turned right now through transformation. And it's connected to death, the death card, which would make sense. It has something to do with the metamorphosis of the energies, the shifting and breaking up of old earth to new. Responsibility and awareness. This is what's being offered. And I really feel like it's responsibility through awareness. That's what's being offered. And it's number 10. We know we're following the tens to turn the wheel connected to number 13. <clears throat> okay. It is all too easy and disempowering to blame others, society, or bad luck for our problems. Take back your power, recreate, reestablish your inner structure by removing what no longer serves or hinders you. Put your own house in order, neat and tidy, making space to expand in ways that benefit you and the world around you. And this is where we take responsibility for our actions. We learn, to, we learn from our mistakes we release bad behaviors and ideas that hinder ourselves and continually improve ourselves. And it's connected to the gemso gemstone citrine, like the sun that resembles energies, cleanses and regenerates. And um, it's connected to the earth through come free, promoting ge regeneration, structure, karma clearing, and accepting responsibility, which is connected to our awareness. And look at that full moon. There are whole worlds that are unseen by ordinary awareness. You have the capacity for extraordinary awareness. Work on developing your psychic skills and pay close attention to your dreams. Things are not always as they seem, and you will need all your senses, physical and metaphysical, in order to move forward. And that's why just in, th you know what, this part of our journey, we are in detoxification. Because we need all of our senses, and we need them heightened. This is where we pay attention to the whole world, the seen and unseen. I look below appearances and see the truth beneath. I continually strengthen my seeing skills. And guys, you know, you know what we know. We know what we need to do. You know what, it's just about, and many of the times we're listening. It's just, are we following through? It's listening to, you know, that voice that said, you know, a million and one times. I just need to detoxify from this right now and, you know, get back to self, get back to one. I'm, you know, and this world is, it can be really hard to cope with. It can be really hard to just find that space where we can feel like self, but we're loving self. We are finding that space to be with self. And this is connected to Moonstone. It, it enhances extraordinary awareness and mugwort, aids dream work and develops, integrates and controls psychic abilities. Mugworts, you know, I feel like we're at Harry Potter. Now they've also shown me this is connected to the Eight of Swords and we're going within and then we're going within again. And this is going to be connected to the reading where we actually go within and that's going to be happening very soon okay let's see where we're going
the ace of earth we are we're entering a new path we're going a new way now we've opened up like you know it was like this pathway was blocked but we did all this work and then now what was blocking the pathway has been lifted or obliterated and now it's uh smooth sailing there was a the little construction going on there But we have a clear path now. It's all finished. Okay, we're... Ooh, that didn't feel so good. The Empress. Love the Feminine. This is connected to friends and colleagues and this celebration, this coming together. We're going to celebrate. Something is expanding here through the energy of the Empress and love. Venus. Yeah, Ten of the Sea, Ten of Cups. We're feeling happy here. We're feeling vibrant. We're expanding. We're... This actually... The feeling I'm getting is like from the imagery in this card. How could you not feel happy at this beach? Like these dogs, it's a whole family and they're just running through the beach. We, through this purification, we brought our toxicity to the surface and allowed it to be purged from our being and healed. And that's what allowed the creation of the Ten of Sea. Yeah, we had an ending to begin again. The Ten of Skies here with Fire Puppy. And this is the Sagittarius energy allowing us to begin again. And we know the Ten of Air, well, the Ten of Sky is the Ten of swords and that's connected to our karma and the self node and now we have sky puppy so we're in play i really feel like we're discovering what's new what is new we are exploring it's a time of exploration self of you know how we're expanding here in the planet because things are changing now drastically okay we're gonna get an oracle and say goodbye until we meet again there it is what do you feel and once again it's the presence of the full moon the full moon is speaking guys and this is the Sacred Rebels Oracle. And of course, the tarot is that we just used is one of my favorites as I love dogs. We love dogs here at School for the Fool, guys. They're our friends. Here we go. What do you feel? There are many opinions around you. Some are helpful, but others are distracting. You from your truth. Although it can be helpful to hear the thoughts of others, when it all comes down to it, you will have to come to your own decision. This is the time we're in. Do you know how unique you are? How your path is your path to be chosen, lived and created only by you. And this is our uniqueness. This is how we heal from jealousy and envy. There's nobody that can shine like we do. And there's room for all of us to shine here. We're all helping to create the beautiful healing album of humanity and Mother Earth. And there's, you know, in this orchestra, there is 
room for every single one of our authentic tunes. And every single one of our authentic tunes is creating this beautiful song, the album. And it's longer than a song, right? That's why it's an album. Now, someone else cannot become the source of your decision-making power without negative repercussions for both you in the long run. So for both of you in the long run. This oracle comes to you because you've become swept up in thinking things through. You've been thinking about which way to go with a matter of importance and you've got a bit stuck in the logic of the decision-making process. We don't want to get stuck in logic. That's why we need our instinct and our intuition. And Sagittarius is helping us with this as well as Sagittarius energies fights, fights for freedom. Fights for us to be unique as well. Now, sometimes we have to accept that any path is a path forward and it, if it is not the best path, we can change our approach later on if needed. This is, guys, this, this oracle's massive, massive information and for the times we're in and it's just confirming. Like, you know what? Everything's not just going to be better just like that. So we're going to make decisions based on now but we're going to allow ourselves to be able to change them and we can do this with self too like every day we're changing no one says anything set in stone so don't you know don't get that process you know stuck within your head allow shape shifting to occur this is part of mastering ourselves we don't have to be perfect in fact there is rarely ever a perfect choice to be made just some choices that feel more heart honoring than others sometimes we can only really know in hindsight if we made the best choice possible in that moment and that's true and this is how we learn from our experiences and we just understand their experiences at the time of decision making we only really have our internal wisdom to rely upon and that is all we need so how you feel is telling you there is no need to punish or traumatize yourself with possible choices. Just making a choice will set things in motion. The best way to catalyze the situation you are in and bring about healing change is to stimulate your creative juices and find more inspired, energized, and an enjoyable approach, approach to your life. It's not just to make a choice based on how you feel right now or based on anyone else's feelings, just yours. So ask yourself, what do I feel right now and go from there? And it's about taking a different approach. We're just gonna take a different approach. We're not gonna go the same way that we have before. Because we're creating a new. And you know what guys, we just don't wanna get lost right now in swept up in the crumbling keep your vibe keep your vibe high from within there it is yeah we're facing our fears we're in the time of facing our fears because it's going to allow us to heal from our consciousness of lack to create the optimism The loving woman this card is about a loving woman coming into our lives and she's offering something for us for some of us we're going to enter a relationship with her for some of us she's going to allow healing in a multitude of ways and for everyone that's joining here me here it's going to be different but this is the divine feminine helping us to heal. The divine feminine is helping us to face our fears and to connect with our friends and colleagues and celebrate. People that are a part of where we're going in New Earth. We're really 
shaking things up and we're really creating a space where we can feel like this. Much love and healing vibes sent your way to create with today. I look forward to seeing you again soon, guys. Take care.